solid model history. AutoCAD can record the history of a solid model's construction. When we use Boolean operations such as union and subtract, we end up with uh, what's called a composite solid. By default, AutoCAD looks at the history of these composite solids. Its default setting is to turn that off. If we go over to the Solid tab, go to the Solid tab and we go to Solid History, you notice it's not turned on. If, if I have it off as a normal history, this is what I get when I see a particular object with some subtractions made from it. I have to have it turned on and when it's turned on, it will record every uh, step made to use the composite solid. This recording of the history is kind of handy that we can go back in and we can edit some of those objects used to make the, the shape. So if I go to turn the solid history on, it goes to a light blue. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make a box. And I'll give it a height of 2. I'm going to come in and I'm put a cylinder in. And there we go. And uh, let me just make sure that we're all the way through. And let's center a little more here. All right. And uh, let's go with uh, making a sphere. And let's grab onto it right here. And let's make a sphere right there. Now, now let's go up into our home tab and let's go and subtract. And I'm going to subtract. Oop, and let me do that again. And grab the primary and then the negative space. I'll do that again. I grab the primary then what's going to make the negative space. Now, if I have this turned on and I set my ISO lines on, and there's two ways I can do it. I can type in ISO lines, or I can go to my options, and go to display, and uh, let's see, Where's my ISO lines in here? Uh, well, let's just do it the easier. Let's just type it in. ISO lines. And right now the value is set to 4. Um, so I can turn that up, say, to 12. And so what I can do is come over here, right click on this, and say, oop, right click and say properties. And you can see that show history says no here. That should say yes. And now when I say yes, I see those objects that are there that are used to create those particular um, elements that made this composite. Now, at that point, I can use my control key. And I can hold my control key down and I can pick on any one of those particular objects. Then I can use, say, the move grip, and I can move this object, and I can make a change to my composite if I wish. All I have to do now to get it back to sort of normal behavior is to come back and say, show history, and say, no. Okay, I'm still recording the history, but I'm not showing the history. So now I can make edits to my solid model by using my solid history 
and my show history.